and the dark web. Uh, it was originally a project started by the Navy Research Lab here in the United States to protect the communications of U.S. government personnel. So Tor Project has servers all over the world and those servers accept connections from users like our guy here and then bounces that signal around. All of these connections are encrypted, so no one can piece together who this person is and what this person is doing. You know that no one can figure out who you are, but that also means that you can't figure out who anyone else is. A lot of people use the, the dark web to evade censorship and, and access free speech information. There are also networks of individuals who are using the obscurity of the dark web to exploit children. We found that people spent so much time on the sites they would create a dialect. They would invent words. They would misspell the same words the same way. We're seeing more and more vetting processes, more and more requirements for invitation codes. So the community is trying to insulate itself from the rest of the world. They're creating this web of trust that's becoming more and more difficult for law enforcement for analysts to, to break into. I would say it's moving twice as fast as some of the trends in cybersecurity. I, I think we've only got a couple more years.